All right, friends, let's do ourselves a mission. <coughs> but yeah, I found myself doing less of the explory stuff than I kind of want to, because I just really love the missions and doing them, as you all know by now. All right, but we're going to go back to Ilium. And we're going to recruit specifically the Justicar. I'm a nom nom whilst I'm playing this one. We are going to be heading out with. Uh, let's let's head out with with loyal people just as a general rule, just because I don't know. It's another reason for me to do all the loyalty missions, and also I like I like clicking things with red circles in them. I don't know. Um, let's see here. We're recruiting a sorry just to. Uh, I think she's just gonna bring people that she trusts with her life. Maybe let's do a. Maybe we really should do a callback to, yeah, to anyone. Like she trusts these two with her life because she's already been to Helen back with them. So, and also this is a. Yeah, so instead of waiting until Tolly's, um, <coughs> we'll, we'll do this. And uh, let's start with her because she's got a lot of points to put in a lot of things. Let's go ahead and give her, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to give her max combat drone and max quarian machinist, but let's see. Also I love her, she names her drone, it's so cute, we'll see that in action here. Always uh, attack drones so that we can, we can always, no matter who I'm with, damage down the big boys. Because I'm good at damaging down everything. Um, and then I basically need them to damage down everything else. And then I try to basically tank best I can. And keep them to alive by killing everything first. Uh, it's basically what I try to do. And it works more or less. Especially in this game. Now. It would really help if my mouse was a little bit less finicky right now. Alright. We're in Machinist. As always, we're always going to purchase all ranks here. And let's go ahead and use these last three on her AI hacking. <coughs> let's go ahead and have her be a little tankier. Because I know she's pretty squishy in this game. Purchase. AI hacking. There we go. Now, Garrus. Kind of surprised he doesn't have anything. And I don't have anything. I could put it in cryo ammo, but I'm going to put it in adrenaline rush. Alrighty. Commander, a pleasure to see you again. Okay, Thank you. pretty sure. Have a pleasant visit, Nos Asper. Wait, hold, wait, hold on. I think I Commander, actually asked her about Samara. Can I help you with something? I'm on a mission. Can you help me find someone? I can help you find Major and. Oh, that's right. Excellent at that. Have a pleasant visit. Is she on? No, that's right. On her terminal, there is stuff for. I forget about that. I forgot about that. On her terminal, there is stuff for. Um. The peeps. Pardon me, I'm dealing with damn Ilium travel bureaucracy. 
Were you trying to get them to help you find this locket? Oh. Steven. Thank you. Thank you so much. My daughter was young when he died. This is the only memento she has of him. Hunky. Please accept this. It's much less than I would have had to pay the bureaucrats to authorize a search. Ah! <coughs> Huggle. I'm glad I could help with something like that. Koreans ever set foot here. Ilium doesn't allow the flotilla to approach beyond a certain distance. This is the greatest planet in the galaxy for those who can afford it. And they work hard to keep the Quarian fleet away. Oof. <coughs> Oofity doofity. It kind of makes sense though, sadly. Actually, you know what? It doesn't make sense to me. Why do they do that? But I think it has to do with like the, the reputation of Corians being thieves or resource hogs or etc. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. Wait, what am I doing? Uh, I'm thinking. I'm thonking. I'm thonking. Uh, I, I need Liara's office. I'm pretty sure I know who to talk to, but I forget where she is. I think she's there in administration. Wait, hold on now. I'm pretty sure, no, I'm pretty sure you go up here. That's where our traitor was desked. And then, or more like one of two traitors, I do believe. Alright, uh, just a car tomorrow, there we go. Currently, <clears throat> currently on Ilium for undisclosed business, likely related to her position as a just car. As a courtesy, Samara checked in with Trafficking Officer Dara at the Transportation Hub upon arrival. Follow-up, Dara may have more information on Sam Samara's whereabouts. I do believe... yeah, transportation and shipping. Okay, I'm starting to s kind of be able to navigate this better, which is good. There we go. Life can be uncertain. That's why you need an omni gel programming solution that works whether constructing single use equipment or breaking down salvage. You can gear. sell something that dangerous with just a contract and a waiver? Wait, hold on. The terminus uh, systems. Everything's dangerous and everything's for sale. No, I haven't had any luck yet. She insists. There she is. I don't know. I'm going to call in a favor and have a friend examine the contract. Hootis. Shepard, I... I don't suppose you'd remember me. I'm Shiala. We met on Pharos during the Geth attack. Saren had given me to the Thorian creature as a slave, and you killed it, and saved me. I promised to help the colonist recover after Zeus' hope was lost. I'm actually here on Ilium for just that purpose. And these two were both there when that happened, which is why I bring... Um, my friend goes on missions when I can, especially. I don't. I, I forgot that this lady was here or where she was exactly, but I'm glad we're able to do this little thing here. And um, this is the first thing she'd ask because she wants to help keep him as many innocents safe as humanly possible. Is it Exo Jenny pushing colonists around again, or did the Thorians somehow survive our fight? No. Exogeny has had little contact with the survivors since the death of Zeus Hope. We hope to keep it that way. And the Thorian is dead. Though, after all you went through to kill it, I understand your concern. I fear that after our adventure on Pharos, my purpose on Ilion will seem mundane by comparison. Where did the survivors go after Zeus Hope shut down? A few went to new colonies, but most went to Earth. The Exogeny researchers got called back to their headquarters, however, along with what was left of the Thorium. Oh, God. They better not be trying to bring it back. 
Is there something I can do to help? I'd appreciate it. I've reached the limits of my diplomatic abilities, and I'd prefer not to start trouble. Some of the colonists had health problems as a result of the Thorian control. We hired a colonial survey group to do some medical scans, but the medical contract apparently allows the company to perform invasive procedures without our consent. Oof. That's why I'm here. Yeah, no. I'll talk to the survey group. I appreciate it, Shepard. The Barrier Frontiers representative knows about the issue. Not sure what those will do for us, but they're only 500 each. I don't see a reason not to go ahead and... And Shepard's also, also thinking, if she sees me buying stuff at her kiosk first, that might help this happen. Anyway. I saw your conversation, human. You're here to complain about the medical contracts those colonists from Pharaoh signed. I suggest you leave. Your life is short enough. Do not waste what time you have bothering me. What's your problem with humans? <sighs> Just humans, it's all of you. The Salarians and Turians are no better. The galaxy would be a better place if nobody but the Asari had ever dragged themselves out of the primordial muck. Jesus! How far is that stick buried up your ass, lady? What happened to her? Well, we're about to find out, actually. And, yeah, I'd say her reasons are actually... Understandable, if not anything that even close to makes what she's doing acceptable. Or her attitude, either. But, well, that's a moral standpoint. Moral standpoints don't really account for... Troubled pasts. And I think that's part of the biggest issue with a lot of people's moral standpoints is they ignore what made people do what they did. Because, of course, all that really matters to them is what the people did. Because, you know, either they hurt them or they hurt people and it's unacceptable to them. But someone had to hurt them in order for them to be like that most of the time. You know? <sighs> so, I try my best to not hurt anyone best I can. You know? And it's a human thing, and it's hard not to hurt anyone, but... I try to leave as many people better as I found them as humanly possible. And as long as everyone does that, I think we're all doing our best. It's just our minds sometimes don't let us, frankly. Anyway. Perhaps we could work out different tests. Something that will work for both sides. If the colonists were not willing to abide by the terms of the contract, they should not have signed it. The onus is not upon me to accommodate them. So you'd be this harsh in your contract terms if these were Asari colonists? If they were Asari, they'd be dealing with problems unleashed by another race. Asari like my bondmate, who died when the Geth rebelled against the Quarians. Or my daughters, who died during the Geth attack on the Citadel. Here we go. One worked in the embassy, the other was a greeter for the consort. <coughs> I think we've actually met her. Both of them, actually. In We've here. met both of those Asari and in, in ME1. Be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. Let's unravel her bullshit so that she can have a better life and not have it be one of the many lives that sadly just destroy, destroy, destroy as long as they live. <coughs> <coughs> I think one of the biggest things we as humans need to be working on right now, like every human in their own way, is, is as small or large scale that they can, but to help unravel the mental things that, that make people do and have these kind of ideas. I've unraveled a lot of the shit in my brain. It took years. I'm finally in a much better place than I ever was before. I, I have a much better out outlook on life, and I'm constantly making my outlook on life better and better and better and better. And it took that, it took 
it took a lot of struggle and it, at first, and it took a lot of um, just making the decision again and again. No matter how much my mind told me that this was pointless, I needed to let go of the thoughts. My mind, you, you know, if you listen to your thoughts and realize that, look, all this evidence is here, you suck, all these people suck, continue acting like that, continue doing this, because it's all that you can do, that's essentially what my mind's telling me. It's got a really good way of convincing me to use defensive measures that do nothing but hurt people and keep me stuck in a rut. But, you know, it's interesting, it's easy for your mind to think in situations like this woman's right here, that what you're doing is just, you know, you're protecting yourself and you're... Also, she probably thinks that she's getting back at them for all of this, but, well, it wasn't the races themselves that did this to them. She's hanging on to her prejudice because it's a lot easier. It's, it's so much easier to blame other people than to work through your feelings. Like, holding on to the feelings is just a natural thing, and it can drive you... And it's, 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 it's so scary to think about the real, the implications and try to move through and let go of the emotion. Continuing to feed it is a natural thing that's rather easy for people to do, but it's also, invariably, it always leads to bad stuff happening. It always leads to a lot of suffering for you, for other people, you know? Why was your bond made on the Quarian homeworld? Studying the Quarians. Not their <laughs> technology, but their music. Interesting. She loved all their art. Said they had old souls. Interesting. I think that's where my daughters got it from. Both of them love talking with people, exploring new cultures. And that's where they got their jobs. They sound like wonderful people. The galaxy is lesser for their loss. Yes, it is. Do you think they'd want you to do this? I'm not. A, I didn't. Huggy. Hug. I love this scene. Shepard would hug her if possible, and if that was a good idea. No more tests, no fees. There's enough grief in this galaxy. I don't need to add to it. There we go. Huggy. See. She seceded so well because we actually wanted to listen, I think. I think she, she'd she convinced herself that no one cares. But we asked her, and that's why she changed her mind, just like that. I love that scene. This is the kind of shit that everyone needs to learn to do in these kind of situations. I've learned it. Others have learned it. I'm learning it still, for sure. But I'm learning it, and it's extremely powerful. To just learn how to be understanding... And to, to, to ask what's going on instead of yeah. act on your assumptions, because acting on your assumptions doesn't require getting closer to someone that's bothering you. That's kind of part of why I think what I think that is. But it's just not a healthy way to be. And I've really been learning that recently, and I've been able to to do better with everyone in my life that comes in and out of it. And be far less reactive in a way that's destructive. And it's powerful. Regardless. Oofity. Oofity. Asari drama! Um, okay, so. Besides listening to more random Asari drama, let's go talk to Dara. And get this underway, eh? Can I help you with something? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. Wait, why? Do you have a problem, or... Did she kill somebody already? Relax. I just need to speak with her. Good. Samara's the first Justicar I've seen on Ilium. If I'm lucky, things will stay peaceful. She went to the commercial spaceport a few hours ago. If you want to get there, the pedestal on that balcony will summon a cab. Just be polite when you meet her. Justicars embody our highest laws, and they usually stay in Asara's space. She's not used to dealing with aliens. It's interesting, because... You know, this place is filled with Asari. Asari normally revere the Justicars, but they're doing a lot of illegal shit here. It's just a general thing. And she's probably paid off nine ways to Sunday by all sorts of not exactly legal things. 
And she's probably trying to cover the ass of not only herself, but a lot of other Asari, and possibly other aliens as well. So, yeah, it's, it's just, you know, a place like Ilium, it's interesting that Asari made it because of their, you know, like, this is not Asari space, but it's a primarily Asari world, and it's a lot, a lot less lawful than the others, and, uh, yeah, just the cars in just the cars are completely just the cars are the epitome of lawful good. And you'll see what I mean when we meet Samara. Like, you know, the the D and D alignment, lawful good. That's what that's what Samara is. I, I think they do a really good way of representing that in a sorry culture. And also I think Samara and also <clears throat> The Ardat Yakshi we're going to meet as a result of uh, her mission, and by the way, I love that mission, it's so good, but um, it's really going to, uh, it's really going to, uh, My brain just, like, skipped a billion beats um, to sort of drive home that whole, the whole lawful good thing, I think is what I was talking about, but I don't really remember. All right. Um, I don't really remember if that was the last point I had. I don't feel like it was, but oh well. Uh, Y'all probably got it, I'm hoping, but if not, I'm sorry. I will do better or best I can. Always. And now I'm done with my nomage, so I'll have less description. All right, um... Let's go ahead and ask. I'm looking for Samara. Oh, hold on. Like I said, she's at the commercial. Okay, thank you. You can hail a cab at the pedestal on that balcony over there. Okay, thank you. I, I don't know if I or if she already said that part, but considering you could just hail a cab, I mean, duh, probably. But anyway, but now I know she said it. So, but she said like I said, so she must have said it. So we're. I just wanted to make sure, like, that in character, Ada would know where she's going. It's, just hailing a cab when she shouldn't know where to go doesn't make sense, you know, so. Alrighty. Who we bringing for this and Uh... Let's bring some rather non-shady people. <laughs> like, I guess Garrison Tully again? Yeah, let's do that. Anyone else? Oh, that's right. Like, there's there's no fighting going on, so no one would have leveled up. All right. Where do you think you're going? I'm taking my goods to Omega, Detective. You're not going anywhere, Merchant. Not until I solve this murder. I had nothing to do with that. It was those mercenary thugs you can't seem to get rid of. The victim was your business partner, and I'm not ruling you out. I'll let you know when you can leave. What about that Justicar that just showed up? Everyone says she might go crazy and start killing. I need to leave. She'll only kill the unjust, so I'm sure you have nothing to worry about, Pitney Four. Find me in the station if you need me. Ooh, I like this creepy background track here. Very atmospheric. I love the atmosphere, especially two. But three as well, for sure. And one, but definitely two. And three, both awesome atmosphere. I wanted to be a Justicar That's partly in due to the tech increase, but does, still. Hmm. Like, there's just, they're just better made games, for sure. Oh, man, look at that horizon, man. That's beautiful. Cops don't admit it, but the Eclipse sisters run this. Mm -hmm. I don't trust that Bolas. There's something about him. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be a Justicar when I was young. Mm -hmm. Every Asari does, I guess. Mm -hmm. Alright, so where is he again? Yeah, he's over there. 
What do you want? I've already got mercs wanting to kill me like they did my partner. I don't need any more trouble. As if that weren't enough, some Asari Justicar showed up this morning. All the natives are scared of her. I've got to get off this world. Hmm. Has Samara actually done anything yet? The Asari say that Justicars are lethal in a fight. And if they so much as smell corruption, they start shooting. The thing is, corruption isn't that hard to find around here. Yeah, and that sums up what I was talking about earlier about the fears. Probably most people on Ilium have um, about her. <laughs> Oi. Tell me how to find the Justicar. She's in the alley where my business partner was murdered. A detective sealed the area, so you'll have to talk with her if you want to go there. I should go. Nothing to see here. Move along. Nope. Okay, I think I have to talk to her. Where is she? Unless, unless we get, oh yeah, I think we have to go into this building, right? I don't trust that bolus. There's something about it. Yeah, I remember this room now. <clears throat> nice guns. Try not to use them in my district. <laughs> Sadly, that's Looking not going to be possible, I think. I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. If you've got a score to settle with Samara, take it somewhere else. I've got more than enough trouble here already. I need to recruit Samara for my mission. Then we'll be on our way. Justicars usually work alone, but they are drawn to impossible causes. We've got that covered. <laughs> yeah. Out of my district, I'll get you to her ASAP. She's at the crime scene. You're awfully anxious to get Samara out of your district. My bosses want me to detain her. They're worried she'll cause some kind of cross-species incident. Her Justicar code won't let her be taken into custody. If I try it, she'll have to kill me. I have no interest in dying, so if you lure her away with some big noble cause before I have to carry out my orders, I'm thrilled to help you. Well, that's awesome, because that is what we have, is a big noble cause. superiors are sending you to certain death for no good reason. You have a right to disobey. We can disobey suicidal orders. Why wasn't I told? <laughs> twice a day. <laughs> Most of the time I'm not being stupid about it. I can't say the same for Anaya's superiors. I'm a cop and I know my duty. I've been ordered to detain her and I will. Unless I can get her to leave my district first. How do I get to the crime scene? It's around the corner. Go outside, take a left. Look for the police line. I'll send word to let you in. Be careful. The local Eclipse mercs have been all over those back alleys lately. I have to go. Good luck. We better find Samara before the detective goes after her. She's certainly not rushing to go after her, and I don't blame her. Okay, yeah, nothing new. But I'm probably keeping the revenant unless something else makes it go, ooh, shiny. But I don't think I'll ever, because I don't think any other gun's gonna have the ammo capacity that this fucker does. And possibly the damage either. But mostly the ammo capacity. Like, not really having to reload in most encounters is fucking yes, please. Like, you saw how the Vindicator was. It had a pretty small clip. This one, though. Oh boy, I got rewarded for using the small clip. I have a gigantic one after. It's very interesting. Hmm. Looks like we're supposed to have our guns out. There's apparently mercs here.
I really like that scene. And I love this game. It's good. It's very good. Those were my best troops. Tell me what I need to know. I God, she's know awesome. For me. Where did you send her? You think I'd betray her? She would hurt me in ways you can't imagine. The name of the ship. Your life hangs on the answer, Lieutenant. You can kill me, but one of us will take you down, Justicar. What was the name of the ship she left on? Go to hell. Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. My name God, her eyes. God, she's so awesome. I forgot how awesome she was. My quarrel is with these Eclipse sisters, but I see three well-armed people before me. Are we friend or foe? By the way, the ethereal nature that this voice actress was able to pull off, kudos to this woman, because, God... I love her. She's so mystical sounding and looking. The the look in her eyes, the 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 serenity on her face, just God, I love the portrayal of Samara. So good. I'm Commander Shepard, and I need your help with a critical mission, Samara. You honor me, but I am in the middle of an investigation. I need you to help me take down the collectors. The Collectors are a worthy foe. I would relish testing myself against them. But I seek an incredibly dangerous fugitive. I cornered her here, but the Eclipse Sisters smuggled her off world. I must find the name of the ship she left on before the trail goes cold. I wish you were willing to go with the human, Justicar. I've been ordered to take you into custody if you won't leave. You risk a great deal by following your orders, Detective. Fortunately, I will not have to resist. My code obligates me to cooperate with you for one day. After that, I must return to my investigation. I won't be able to release you that soon. You won't be able to stop me. There must be some way we can all get what we need. I see a way. While I am in custody, you find the name of that ship. Do that, and I will join you. Then the code will be satisfied. All right. Do you have any leads? The Volus merchant Pitney Four is tied to this. Eclipse marks are preparing to kill him. Get the truth out of him. He may know a way into the Eclipse base. Well, I've got to get back to my station. And I guess I've got to take you with me. Thank you, Shepard. Holy shit, yes. I love her. Again, Earth Clan. Did you speak to the detective? Why are the mercs after you? I know nothing about any mercenaries, Earth Clan. I'm merely an innocent merchant trying to make his way in life. The Eclipse are hunting you. You want to stay alive, I'm your best chance. Yes. You're right, Earth Clan. I'm desperate. I've got angry mercs after me, and now this Asari Justicar. Let's talk. I smuggled a chemical onto Ilium that boosts biotic powers in combat. It also is toxic. I may have, um, forgotten to mention that to the Eclipse. So they are perturbed and want to kill me. It sounds like you're a swindler and your actions finally caught up with you. True and true. But I haven't survived as a merchant this long without being able to tell when there's a deal in the making. You want something. The Eclipse recently smuggled someone off-world. I need the name of the ship she left on. I don't know about their people smuggling operations. They must keep records in their base. I do have a pass card they issued me to bring my goods in. 
Well, I, I had to return that one, but I happened to make a copy. Take it, but be careful. Each Eclipse sister commits a murder to earn her uniform. They are all dangerous. Oof. Yeah, that's, that is some gang initiation shit. I mean, th the mercenaries in this setting, out here in the Terminus, really are just big, big inter intergalactic gangs, if you really think about it. I mean, with the initiations and everything. Because kill a man to get in is... is a pretty common gang initiation in real life, sadly. Is this the base right here? Yep, yeah, looks like it. This base was right there. Weakening their integrity. Oof it her. Does that actually translate into gameplay, the biotics, but the maybe health damage later? Huh. Not sure. Here we go. because the other Eclipse sisters were watching, but I didn't really shoot. I'm not one of them. I'm new. I thought being Elnora the mercenary would be cool, but I didn't know what they were really like. Get out of here, Elnora. If you so much as jaywalk, I will find you. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'm going. Thank you. Yeah, she's not gonna kill someone that wasn't. If if she shot once, then yeah, she she'd be dead. But she was gonna attack twice, but she didn't do it. So yeah, she's only ever killed people that have been attacking her first. She prides herself on that. Or that we're going to it be against her, definitely. But Alora didn't seem like that. She uses her discretion. They've seen us. Or, uh, Ada uses her discretion. Yeah. Alora didn't use enough discretions. It does seem. Eat this. Or else she wouldn't have joined a place like this because she ain't cut out for him, that's for sure. Down. 
There we go. <laughs> she shouldn't have stood there that whole time, but welcome to ME2's AI. It is it is really weird sometimes, that's for sure. Orange, blue, uh, nope, there it is, there we go. Ah, thirsty boy. <coughs> There we go, this way. By the way, I love this song. It's so awesome. We've been spotted. Firing. Munzee, nice, nice amount of Munzee there. Oh yeah, this thing. Gotcha. Thankfully that's going down. Okay, that's that cover is not good. There we go, this is better cover. I say that, but they were able to directly... Okay, that one needs to go, because she has a direct shot at me. Even here. There we go.
And uh, the other one got cleaned up without me realizing it, so that's nice. It's very nice. That was the last two. Oh, uh, yep, this is how she got... I know this audio is somewhere, but I thought it was before we met her. But it's not. Oof. Oof. Yeah. Hmm. Oofity. Oofity doofity. And she also doesn't have any remorse about it. She was very convincing, though. And again, she has a soft spot for anyone that's not immediately trying to kill her, frankly. And yeah, that can be a weakness sometimes, but... But yeah, she's the one that killed him, eh? Yeah. There we go, it's through here. There we go, very nice. Samara needs, but it does implicate the Volus. I'm sure Detective and I would be interested in this. We gotta keep moving. Oh yeah, this falls. <laughs> I am a biotic god. 
I think things, and they happen. <laughs> Fear me, lesser creatures, for I am Biotic's main flesh. You're high. I love that. I don't know what drugs you're on, but stay back and I won't shoot you. You will regret your scandalous words. I am a great wind <laughs> that will sweep all before me. Like <laughs> a great wind. A great biotic wind. <laughs> Yes, the Asari injecting so many drugs into me was terrifying. But then I began to smell my greatness. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> they may laugh when I walk over, but they don't know what I know in my head. But I know that I am amazingly powerful. Fear me! <laughs> Are you part of Pitney Force Trade Group? When I was mortal, I worked for Pitney. <laughs> Poor soul is probably terrified that I have not returned. He hasn't reported your disappearance. Probably so his departure will get delayed. Pitney will pick money over friends every time. Very clear. Bah. I will wreak a just revenge upon his people. But first... The leader of these mercenaries is in the next room. I shall toss Wasair about like a rag doll. Shepard, this guy couldn't tie his bootlaces, much less fight. I will tear her apart. My biotics are unstoppable. Wasair will tear you apart. Take a nap, you'll feel better. Are you mad? I'm unstoppable. Feasting on her biotic rich blood will be the last step in my <laughs> But great wind. Biotic god. I'm I What was I saying? I'm tired. You may be right. Yes, I'm tired. Oh, map. Destroy the universe later. <laughs> so much for Godhood. <laughs> I love that so much. Alright. It's almost equally as funny when Rasea insta murders him, but yeah, she wouldn't let that happen. Innocence and all that. Also, they did that to him. So yeah, she doesn't think he deserves to die at all. Her though, by the way, her fucking face tats are awesome. I love, I love the Asari's designs. They're so awesome. All of the Asari face designs have been awesome to me, especially in this game. They really made some awesome ones. At least I can take pleasure in turning your head into a pulpy mass. Weapons ready. I love that scene, by the way. That is a great boss start scene. Also, this freaking song! It's awesome. But she is right that we're deep into something terrifying by helping the Justicar. Cause yeah, Arda and Yakshi are terrifying. Uh, so, and we'll be one of them in a bit. <laughs> That's one of my favorite missions, by the way, in this entire game. Okay, we have to do the Pitney Four thing again. Let's just let's just uh, skip through it. Be careful. Make sure I chose the right things. And the same things I've done before. Shepard, this guy could I will tear her apart. But are you mad? I'm unstoppable. Feasting on her biotic rich blood will be the last thing to find. Okay, phew. My mouse went finicky then, and I thought it was gonna 
not let me do the interrupt. Thankfully, it did. By our God, I'm a. What was I saying? I'm tired. You may be right. Yes, I'm tired. Oh man, destroy the universe, please. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. Everything's gone to hell since we smuggled that filthy creature off world. First a Justicar shows up, now you. At least I can take pleasure in turning your head into a pulpy mass! God, oh, this song is awesome. But yeah, the uh, drugs mechanic in this fight is also awesome. There's just a lot of really great mechanics at play in this game. So much fun in this game to be had. She's getting the fuck back there, isn't she? Yep. It's cool shooting those, making them move through them. It, also, I love the red clouds. They just look awesome. They should soften them up. Oh man, it's awesome. I love this song very much. So. It looks like we have to search manually for it. There we go. I remember her desk being at the very back of the room, but that was wrong. That's why I was looking around back there. It's at, well, it's at the back of this room, but then she cleared crates out of the way to make room for herself and some more. Sorry. Some more clips. Sisters. There's a just car here. Probably look, looking for the one we sent off in the AML Demeter. I was happy to see her go. She chilled me to the bone. I just hope this just car doesn't mess up my operation. Well, she didn't just mess up your 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 operation. She also basically destroyed it by killing you and all of your freaking workers too. That must be the ship Samara was looking for. 
Should we head back to the police station and give her the name, or look around first? Let's give her the name and keep moving. Is Pitney already gone, by the way? No, we can go talk to him again. Oh no, that's Niftu. What happened to Pitney? Well, I guess we're about to find out. I don't know what they put in me, but I thought I was... Well... <laughs> the biotic god. Now he's not high anymore, so he's good. You, You're welcome for letting you live. Oif. I just said oif. It's like oof, but oi at the same time. It's like it's like a double oof. Like, kind of reminds me of the name of the Japanese metal band Devil Oof. But anyway, um, but like, you know how oi is basically like the an older world version of oof. That's kind of basically what oof is. It's like, it's, you know, the new, you know, uh, millennial version of oi, basically. So, like, oif is like double, like, oh my Jesus Christ, god damn it. It's double the feel. Anyway. Oh, there's Pitney. I was like, where'd he go? Thank you for removing the Eclipse Threat, Earth Clan. It will take them months to rebuild their organization. Also, merely out of curiosity... When you were poking about, did you perhaps run across a shipping manifest that belongs to me? You never know when something like this might come in handy. If it might change your mind, Earthglad, returning that manifest would be very profitable for you. If you give it to the detective, her reward will be a pat on the back. But I will give it to her anyway because, uh, yeah, people like you should be locked the fuck up like, like she wants you to be. If you have something that'll encourage the Justicar to leave, show it to her. Okay, looks like I. If you have something right. that'll encourage. The there she goes. I got the name of the ship. Your fugitive left here two days ago on the AML Demeter. Shepard, you impress me. You fulfilled your part of the bargain, and I will fulfill mine. <laughs> I am ready to leave immediately, if that will satisfy your superiors, Detective. You're free to go, Justicar. It has been an honor having you in my station. And it's nice you didn't kill me, too. <laughs> the Normandy is docked near the main trading floor. I'll see you aboard. I must be sworn to your service, so that I am never forced to choose between your orders and the code. I will serve you, Shepard. Your choices are my choices. Your morals are my morals. Your wishes are my code. I love this. This is so awesome. And it even requires biotic. It, it, it literally seems like it basically... It, 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 artific it seems to artificially... If you make me do anything extremely dishonorable, I may need to kill you when I'm released from my oath. Oof. Yeah, that's... that. It's... Very interesting stuff there. But yeah, I, I she wouldn't. This shepherd wouldn't. Another shepherd I'm kind of thinking about doing in another playthrough later would. But yeah. <laughs> I can see that this is a very important act, Samara. Thank you. Truly, the life of a Justicar can get lonely. I admit I am looking forward to serving with a company of honorable heroes. Shall we return to your ship? I need to speak to the detective. Thanks for getting Samara out of my district. I can tell my granddaughters about meeting a Justicar. And you've just upped my chances of living long enough to have grandkids. <laughs> I have proof that Eclipse killed the Volus merchant. Let's see what you've got there. Interesting. But I can't verify it. It would be inadmissible. I vouch for Shepard and any evidence she brings forward. I accept the judgment of the Justicar. Awesome. Thanks, Shepard. I wasn't sure about trusting a stranger, and a human at that. But you came through. It's a shame this Elnora escaped. But I'll get her. At least you put her on the run. Okay, enough with all the congratulations. I've still got a spiraling crime rate. I have proof that Pitney Four smuggled in red sand and illegal weapons tech. I'll send in some officers to arrest him and his cohorts. 
This is a big help, Shepard. I can't do much to thank you. But we do have a small discretionary bounty. Take this. There we go. We done did it, friendarinos. We done did it. Wow, amazing. Welcome to the Normandy, Samara. We've studied your profile extensively. With your skills, I think you'll be an excellent addition to our team. Thank you. From an organization such as yours. That is high praise indeed. I've seen Samara's biotic powers at work. They're substantial. We still don't know what we're going to find when we hit the collectors. I will be prepared for whatever we encounter. I'm sure you Where will. Where shall we put you? A room that looks out on the great empty void would be most comforting. Put her in the observation room on deck three. Thank you. I must meditate on the day's events. See you, Jacob. There we go, friendos. So, I'll leave this one off here. So, I hope you all have a lovely, lovely, lovely day. Um, like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to. Uh, you can also follow my Twitch channel and my Twitter to uh, let you know when I'm going to go be going live on my Twitch. And in the meantime, I hope y'all all have lovely, wonderful days, and I will see you later.